It is a great opportunity that we have here at Fairlawn West to be a part of this program which has been in existence for quite some time and um, it is nice to be able to host these families and give them this opportunity to have a place to stay while they're in transition from one place to another. And we love the fact that our church is big enough and has enough room to accommodate the, the families. This evening we are going to welcome four families who are participating in the Family Promise program. They are working to regain permanent housing situations. Family Promise keeps together families during one of the most difficult times of their lives, which is when they are homeless. Family Promise of Summit County is a, an emergency homeless shelter. Um, our goal or our mission is to help homeless families with children stay together and achieve sustainable independence. Um, it is a national model. There are actually 200, over 200 family promises across the United States. At any time, one of us could be in the same shoes uh, yeah. as they are. Even before I became homeless, since I knew what the situation was going to be, I took steps to keep my family from being on the streets, but unfortunately it didn't work out that way. I still ended up homeless and looking for a place to stay. Without Family Promise, me and my children would still be sleeping in the car because my plans fell through. They're the only ones that really bring the whole family in, including the husband and everything, so mm -hmm. yeah. help. <laughs> Especially older boys, they're the only one that will help. I believe that Family Promise is the only one that, that keeps families with children together. Because if you are a woman with a boy child over 12, you're out of luck. Or if you're a single dad with a daughter, you're out of luck. We'll see you later. We take, take the kids to whatever schools they go to so that they don't, don't have to change schools. And, uh, and then we take, bring them here to the center here where each family has like their own room and showers and a laundry room and they can keep pets here. So over here is the pet kennel area. Um, this uh, area right here serves our, our dogs. So as you can see, we have four kennels um, just to house four dogs. I said they provide a kennel for them so that we can keep them. They also um, send them to the vet to get a full um, workup and get them kennel ready. And we call these cat condos. Um, but by Phoenix, for example, if he's the only person here, we're not gonna confine him to one, one of the condo areas. He gets the whole room. I have two dogs myself, and I would probably rather sleep in my car than get rid of my pets. I mean, they become such an important part of your family. And if you think about, you know, a child, they've lost their home, you know, they've lost everything that was normal to them. And now you're going to take their family pet away. You know, I mean, it's just devastating. So it's been a real treat to be able to have that and the families do appreciate it. Congregations like the UCC provide kind of like that warmth welcome to our families. Like, hey, you know, we're all one here. Nobody's judging you. I've done the dinners before and we've done everything from like a taco bar with chicken and beef. Those and are always fun. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. I'm glad they took the time to prepare the food, and I really thank them. Every new person that has come to this congregation in the last three years has had an immediate connection to Family Promise. Yeah, when we first came to the church, we were looking for ways to get, get involved, start volunteering, and Family Promise was an easy way to get started. I wanted a church that didn't focused strictly on its own congregation, but tried to, to be of service. Love of neighbor to me is not just love of the people in your church, as some churches seem to emphasize. It's basically reaching out, feeling empathy for those around us. Family promise for this particular church is one of the ways in which we release the 
pent-up energy that the Holy Spirit gives us. Uh, we have about 20 congregations in our network right now. 11 of those are host churches, um, and they play that role of opening up their facility um, for our families and providing the volunteer hours needed. And it does uh, fulfill me spiritually because I do believe that Christ asks us to be servants. I have a roof over my head. My children have a safe place, a clean environment, a place to shower. They was, I was able to get them into school. And it's all because of family promise and all the volunteers. If it wasn't for them doing God's work, we wouldn't be in this situation. And I really like to thank everybody in the system for helping us. I'm only for